Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Huzzy Auditorium here at Noble High School for this evening's patriotic concert. I am A.J. Dufort, principal here at Noble High School, and we are incredibly proud of all of our musicians that you will hear from this evening. And having the opportunity myself to get some sneak peeks into tonight's program, I am certain that everyone here will greatly enjoy tonight's performances. There are just a couple of housekeeping items before we get started. We would ask that if everyone could please silence all cell phones. Additionally, taking photos are absolutely fine, but please no flash. If at some point during tonight's program you do need to step out uh, to use the restroom or step out into the hallway, absolutely no problem, but we do just ask you to do your best and please wait till a piece concludes uh, before stepping out. And then a reminder and a huge thank you to Berwick Community Television who is recording tonight's program. And so that allows folks, uh, family and friends who aren't able to be in attendance this evening to view, but also allows all of you to go back and, and view our wonderful musicians once again at a later date. So thank you very much. And at this point, I would like to get tonight's program underway, and I would ask if all would please stand for our national anthem being performed by our jazz ensemble under the direction of Kayla Peard. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, can you hear me all right, yeah? So while Corral gets on stage, I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Christian Giddings and I'm the new music teacher here. And I could not be more thrilled to be a part of the music department here at Noble. I'm from Maine, I grew up in Unity. So I've known about Noble and its awesome program for as, since I've been in high school. So I am blessed and excited to be in this music department the outstanding support of all of the people that are here, Ms. Pierda's the colleagues, this beautiful place to perform in. I'm very happy to be here, and I would love to welcome Corral to the stage. This is our high school uh, um, non-auditioned group with a very popular text for this type of um, event. This is Flanders Fields. So as you hear all of the different motives, you're gonna hear the text bring you through the story of what's going on, and I encourage you to read through some of the program notes so you can see kind of where these texts um, and tunes came from because I feel like they have a different significance in all of the different types of wars from different countries and patriotism in general when we're thinking about this type of a concert. So thank you very much. I'm so excited to be here. And this is Corral with Flanders Fields.
their veterans flee before our youth, and generals yield to beardless boys. What grateful offerings shall we bring? What shall we render to the Lord? Loud hallelujahs let us sing, and praise His name. Good evening. My name is Kayla Peer, and I'm the band director here at Noble High School. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, guys. So first, I wanted to thank, thank you all for coming tonight. This is an awesome-sized audience for our first concert this year, and I'm glad we have people streaming at home, so thank you all for coming tonight. Um, in your program, you've seen some selected program notes. Um, this next piece that we're about to play um, had quite a story to it, so I felt I would um, read it to you instead to allow it to kind of settle in that way. So our next piece is called The Light Eternal. On February 3rd, 1943, the SS Dorchester, an American troop transport vessel, sank in the icy waters off the coast of Greenland, the victim of a German U-boat torpedo. Of the 904 men aboard, 605 were lost. Among those who perished were four army chaplains, each of a different faith, each called to the same duty. The testimony of the survivors tell the story best. As overcrowded lifeboats capsized, as rafts drifted away empty, and men milled around on deck on the, ragged, uh, on the ragged edge of panic, the only fragment of hope came from those four men, and when the life jackets were gone, they gave away their own. As the survivors swam away, they remember the chaplain standing, their arms linked, braced against the slanting deck. They were praying words of prayer in Latin, Hebrew, and English addressed to the same God. The Light Eternal, based on the well-known hymn, God of Our Fathers, is a reflective work that musically recounts this magnificent story. It was commissioned by the Orville High School Concert Band with Rob Hennell and Dave Tibbetts as directors, and the premiere performance took place on May 19, 1991 at the University of Akron Wayne College in Orville, Ohio. It should be noted that the 80th anniversary of this story of the four chaplains will be commemorated on February 3, 2023. As this a programmatic work, there will be moments in the music representing the four chaplains. That will be heard in the four-note motif at the beginning and the four entrances of the fugue during the second half of the piece. In the middle of the piece, you will hear the attack on the ship, including the use of an air raid siren and a gong hit symbolizing the torpedo strike. If you find this unsettling, we recommend you step out of the auditorium at this time. So please enjoy The Light Eternal by James Swearingen.
All right, and on our last song, it was a little hard to see because we have the choir in front of us, but we did have two soloists on there for the band. On uh, trumpet, we had Elsa Christensen, and on, yes, so yay for that one. And clarinet, um, we had Gavin Golette, also Gavin Byrne on the, the duet on that one, so. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, we have a thank you for joining us this evening. We now have our final piece um, in front of you. We have a few logistical details, though. So band students, please, at the end, help move percussion items back. And if there's any band or core students able to help rack some stands and chairs, Mr. Eaton would be very grateful, as he only has one student helper tonight instead of a whole crew. So any help at the end getting them on racks back towards the band and course room would be appreciated so that he can also go home at a good hour. Um, on the back of your program, we have information about our Facebook page. Please think about adding yourself. We're up to 156 followers. So we're trying to keep that going. Um, please do that after this next song, though. Um, it keeps you up to date. We give you little sneak peeks of what the students are doing, things we're celebrating, trips we're taking. Um, on the inside of your program, you'll find a small piece of paper that's a star. Um, please feel free to fill that out. Place them in those two little collection boxes or leave them right on the end aisles over there. Um, we love to hang up the notes of encouragement for our students so they get to hear from you, but it's nice to hear from others too. Um, so it'll be a visual representation in um, our hallway of their concert experience that they can have after this night is over. Um, and at the entrances as well, we have some clink bags. So please take a bag if you would like, fill it, and return it to the Hannaford Clinks location. Each bag has a tag already on it to support the NHS Music Department. Now for our final piece, tonight we will perform Salute to the Armed Forces, and I would like to introduce Mr. Michael Archambault, who will be our narrator for the piece. That song speaks of heroes who more than self their country loved. From the days of our early American patriots through current conflicts, these are the people who have served our country in military service. We want to recognize those of you who have served or are serving in our armed forces. And so we invite you to stand when the theme song for your branch of service is sung. Please allow us to honor you today. Air Force.
Let's stand and give a hand to all our service members.